Hello and welcome back to Matt's Automotive Channel. Uh, this video will be a little different, uh, not the cars really, um, but we have a new addition here. Uh, my son recently moved here from Texas uh, back to Oregon, so he's nearby, so we'll be uh, sharing these pro uh, projects. And uh, so anyway, I'll let, uh, let him introduce himself and take over from here. Hey, it's good to meet you guys. I'm glad to be here. Uh, my name is JJ and um, this is my new project I just picked up. It's a 2006 Subaru Legacy GT. It has lower miles on it, about 135,000. But um, looking to do some maintenance on it and redo the brakes. We're gonna do uh, front pads and rotors and also rear pads and rotors. Um, they are cross drilled and slitted. So um, it'll be interesting to see what kind of uh, upgrade we get out of these. Um, welcome and uh, hope you enjoy. So the kit we got here is the, uh, it's the R1 Concepts. As you can see, they're cross-drilled, slitted. Great reviews on here. Um, normally they're $424, but I did happen to find these used um, in returned condition, and um, Amazon gave me a $300 discount. So new brakes all the way around for 150 bucks. I mean, how can you beat that? Um, so let's start by getting these wheels off and get to work. And if you haven't already got yourself a Milwaukee impact wrench, this will make your life a lot easier. On to the next. So after you get the wheel off, the next step is a 14 mm socket. You're gonna get these two caliper bolts off. This guy here and this guy here. You're gonna to wanna to hang your caliper so that you don't put stress on the brake line. So you can use one of these type hooks here and just hang it somewhere where it's out of the way. There we go. After you get your caliper hung, you're gonna to wanna to pull out these pads. Real simple, you just come straight out with them like this. A lot of times the hardware will stay on there, but no big deal, just, you just pull it right off with the other pad, just like that. We got all new hardware, so we're not gonna worry about bending these. They look pretty worn out anyways. Pads themselves aren't too bad, but if we're doing the rotors, we might as well just replace them. All right, got to get this caliper bracket off. As you see, if we don't get this off, we can't pull off the rotor. So got to get the bracket off. To do this, it's just two bolts on the inside here and they're a 17 millimeter. Depending on your car, if it's rusty, you might need a breaker bar, but we live in the Pacific Northwest, so we don't have to worry about rust too much. All right, let's get this bracket off. Make sure to hold on to it because if you loosen this bolt, this bracket will fall to the ground. And I did have to use an extension here to get past uh, the bolt here on the strut. All right, this rotor should come right off. Nice and easy. So a little comparison here with the new versus the old. And always set it uh, face down, that way you don't damage the rotor. Here's a little comparison. Definitely gonna make an improvement on our stopping power. Uh, the way it is right now, it's pretty soft and you know, you do get a, a pulse when you hit the brakes. So while you're in here, it's never a bad idea. Just to take a wire wheel on your, on your uh, drill here and just get between here and just get some of this rust off, clean it up. So it sits nice and even on here. you install your rotors you definitely want to use a little, um, some brake clean here that way you get this coating off these brand new brakes and just give it a little now that is a good looking brake And the next step is to go ahead and remount the uh, caliper brackets. So we're reinstalling our caliper bracket and then we'll install our caliper. I did want to note that I will come back to this when I have some more time here in the future. Um, clean these up, get all the grease and whatnot off of these and then paint these a nice uh, caliper red color. Uh, 
step now to where we're going to do caliper grease on our hardware. And you want to do this um, so that when your pads go on, you don't want them making a bunch of squeaking sounds when you're driving around. Um, so what you do is you put some grease here and here, same thing on the top side, and then install your pads on each side. And after you get your new pads in and greased, you're going to put back your caliper with these two bolts. Just going to slide it on. Just like that. And then your bolts are going to go one at a time. So we're going to do the back brakes now. Um, these are by far the ugliest part of the whole thing. As you can see, they're very rusty and old and worn out. So um, same process as the front, just going to take off the caliper here, replace the pads and put it right back on. <coughs> These look like they're rusted on there maybe a little better, so yeah. Um, might need to get an extension to get that one off. Yeah, it looked like the other side had some newer bolts, and these are older. So I got this one out, just that top one there. That's going to be a little more challenging, but nothing some WD-40 can't take care of. So after you get the brakes all assembled, you're going to uh, grab your torque wrench, set it to around 80 foot-pounds, and you're gonna go in a star pattern on your lug nuts and make sure they're all tight. You don't want your uh, wheels falling off on, on the road. Well, tires and wheels look a lot better with those nice new shiny rotors. There's the rears and then the front, uh, which are slotted and cross-drilled. <laughs> Makes the car look a lot newer. So the job's done. Um, as you can see, new pads, rotors all the way around. Definitely gives the car a little bit more of a newer look, a little bit sportier of a look on there. Um, I think the next step with this car is to do adjustable coilovers and lower it down a few inches, um, give it a little more stability around the corners. Um, we're gonna take it for a test drive and see how good these brakes really are. nice and smooth coming to a stop we'll get on the back roads here and um, open it up a little bit and really see what kind of stopping force we have of course we need to do a little break in first but we'll get a feel for it brakes it's got brakes so far first impressions I'm extremely happy with how it turned out and for the price I got them for I don't think you could beat that definitely recommend these uh, R1 concept brakes but stay tuned for the next video we're gonna do some more upgrades to this legacy um, like I said, I think our, our next upgrade will be uh, some Amazon coilover. Uh, I guess you just you could call this car the Amazon Special. Um, but we'll see how those go, and um, I got them on order. They should be here soon. Till then, see you next time. Bye-bye.